Hello, this is Rhett, and uh, due to request, I'm going to show you how to get started with using a program, Python, as your calculator. Okay, so this is a Trinket, Trinket.io. If you go here, you can create an account. You actually don't have to create an account. Um, and if I go up to here and just click on New Trinket, I want a Glow Script. Um, you can do Python if you wanted to, but GlowScript's going to have some things in there like vectors. It's going to make it easier for you. Uh, you can save it if you want, uh, but I'm not going to worry about that. So let's just do some simple, super simple calculations. Uh, I can say x equals 3, y equals 2, and then print x plus 3. Oh, that's fine. I meant to do x plus... That's fine. And now I'm going to click run it. 6. Give me the answer. Okay, so you can do all sorts of calculations. I could even do, you know, a equals x squared plus square root of y, which I don't know why that would make any sense. Uh, square in, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Square in Python is star star. I have no idea why. That's just the way it is. And then I could do print a, run it. There's your answer. Uh, what are some other things you may want to do? What if I want to do print the answer equals comma a comma chickens? So this will make a compound print statement. You don't need it, but it's sometimes fun. There you go, right there. There's your output. Okay. You know, uh, the nice thing I can change this to 2.554 and then rerun it. And it's the new answer, okay. So let's do uh, sine and cosine. So let's say theta equals 30. I can put a comment here, degrees. This, if I put the, as my kids say, hashtag sign, uh, everything after that's ignored by the computer. You can put that in the end of a line or even this is another comment. And it ignores that. And then I can say print theta degrees. It doesn't do anything with units. You got to do that yourself. Okay. Now let's do the uh, let's say temp equals x times cosine of theta, but that's not going to work because the default function uses radians. So I'm going to say times pi, which is a built-in number, divided by 180. Print temp. There you go. Okay. One last thing, A equals vector, one, two, three, B equals vector. A case does matter, so capital A is different than lowercase a. Uh, negative two, zero, negative four. I just made that up. Let me show you this too. Uh, I can go down here and say A equals two or three. If you make A up here, you can make it something else down there. It just takes the last thing. You could even make it a vector. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Print A plus B. Print um, X times A. Print mag A. Print A dot X. That's the X component of A. Uh, one more thing. Print norm B. Okay. So I printed a whole bunch of stuff. So you see up here, it gives me uh, that first thing's temp. There's that vector a plus b. This is x times a. This is the magnitude of a. This is the x component, and that's the unit vector. Okay, we also have dot product. So I think it's, let's just get rid of some of this stuff. I got too much stuff. Print a dot, I think it's dot, a comma b. It's a function. Let's see if that works. Yep, I did it. Okay, and then I could do the cross product. There. So you can do all these things and more, but this is just using it as a calculator. And the nice thing is you can declare your variables and then write the equation down here instead of just using it as, you know, a plain, what I would say, a dumb calculator. Okay, that's your super quick introduction. Oh, you can do this on your phone. If you go to trinket.io, it works on your phone. It, the other place you might want to go is go to http colon uh, glowscript.org. Also works on your phone in a browser. The end.